Well, hello and good morning! It's Sunday morning, episode 22 of Diver Dave's Social Distancing Omelette Series. Today, we're going to make a Japanese omelette. Similar to the one you'd find in a sushi restaurant, but mine will not be sweet. Mine will be a little more savory. I am also making a complete Japanese breakfast with broiled eel, kelp noodles, this is a citrus ponsu sauce with lime, and this is an eel sauce, which is a Japanese barbecued uh, sauce to cover the eel. It has honey and marin and soy sauce and some other good stuff. And I'm gonna put it all together. I'm not gonna show everything because it takes a little bit of time to cook the eel, uh, but I will show you how to do the kelp noodles. And the kelp noodles are gonna have the ponsu sauce. The eel is going to have the eel sauce. And the eggs, maybe I'll dribble, drizzle a little eel sauce, which is kind of sweet, to just give it some flavor. Um, gonna cook it in a special frying pan with salt. And let's get to gotten cooking started. Okay, so I took a portion of the kelp noodles out of the bag. You just really rip them apart um, and then put as hot water as you can get from the sink. And what you're going to do is let this sit in the hot water for about 10 minutes. Leave it off to the side. You're going to strain the hot water and then I'm going to put the ponsu sauce on it to give it some flavor. Okay, so I open the eel package and I'm just going to take a small piece of the eel out and put that on a baking tray with a rack and put that into the toaster oven to get that started. Okay, I'm going to start with the eggs. I'm going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon of marin, which is a Japanese sake sauce. Now I'm going to track three jumbo eggs. And now I'm gonna whip it. Whip the food. Get everything nice and combined because you don't want any egg white showing through the mixture. Now I'm going to take the mixture and pour it into a cup so I can slowly feed it into the omelet pan. Okay, so now this is my specialized Japanese omelet pan. I'm gonna bring it up to temperature. It's medium low heat. And as it's getting up to temperature, I will coat the pan with an sesame oil so the egg won't stick. Okay, now that the pan is up to temperature, I'm just going to pour the thinnest of coatings. To get the Japanese style omelet going. 
As soon as the Japanese omelet starts to solidify, you begin the rolling process. So this is a very time-consuming omelet. Um, oh, I forgot to put salt. This one does require salt. As you might have noticed before, none of my other omelets use salt because there's so much salt in the ingredients, I feel I don't necessarily have to salt the eggs. So here we go. We're going to try to get our first flip. Okay. That's our first flip. Our second flip. And our third flip. Now move it back. Recoat the pan. Pour some more omelet mixture into the pan. Make sure that it gets underneath the original one. And as soon as that starts to bubble up, we're gonna do it again. Come on, one more flip. I know you got it in you. Okay. Coat the pan again. Reduce the heat a little bit. Actually, this is going to be the last one. And as you can see, it's firming up very nicely. I probably overcooked it a little bit because the flame was too high, but it'll still make a very lovely Japanese style omelet. So now the omelet is fully formed. I'm just going to flip it one time to get each side done. Doesn't that look pretty? Now, I'm going to do another Japanese omelet in the future where I'm gonna to try to put salmon on each layer. Now, I'm just gonna plate this up. And I'm going to let it rest until the eel is finished. Okay, so now our kelp noodles have softened up. They've been sitting for about 15 minutes in hot water. And now what I'm going to do is drain the water. Give it a good squeeze. And now take the marin and just pour that over the noodles and with my fingers, give it a very nice toss. You 
You can use these noodles to make pesto. They're low carb. You can rip them apart. They're all connected. But it's a very light taste. Quite nutritious. And I'm going to plate this up. Okay, so we're still waiting on the eel. But I'm going to take some of the kelp noodles. Just make a nice little portion. So the marin sauce has a little bit of a citrusy flavor. Okay, so there's our noodles. And I'm still waiting on the eel. So while the eel is cooking in the toaster oven, I will put a little bit of the eel sauce on it just to keep it moist. You don't want to dry it out. And it's got about another two minutes. Okay, so while the eel is still cooking, I am going to just slice, not as thin as they would for a Japanese sushi platter, the egg so it's easier to eat, in smaller parts with chopsticks. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Ah! Man down! So that's what the Tamago omelet looks like. Okay, the eel is finished from the broiler. And I'm plating it up right now. As you can see, it's glistening. So here we have a lovely Japanese breakfast with broiled eel, tamago, which is a Japanese egg omelet, and kelp noodles with marin sauce. I know what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Enjoy yours, and I'll go in for a bite. Okay, I'm going in for a bite of my Japanese omelet. It's delicious, of course. Enjoy your day.